Mm. Get up there! Oh. But yeah, Wheels of Steel, with regards to that, I never said it had to be the end of the series. Like, they could make a whole trilogy about this newbie training up, getting better and better, and trying their best to defeat Samus, but they can't because they're just good enough. And eventually, maybe becoming good enough. I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel like Samus has to be the protagonist. Not just because I'm like, oh, fucking, you know, I just want Samus to get all the glory or whatever. It's just like, how exactly do you compete with somebody that is infused with first alien bird DNA of a now extinct race? And then second, somebody that is now also, on top of that, infused with Metroid DNA. While also being infused with X-Parasite DNA. Like, how, how are you gonna fucking, how are you gonna fucking stack up against that triple threat there? Like... Mm. One half human, one half Metroid, one half avian, one half. You can only Nick's have two halves in a hole. That's yeah. the joke. <laughs> I do kind of like here that the twist on the various suit this time is that rather than fucking protecting yourself from hot temperatures you're doing it from cold temperatures because you're part metroid because uh yeah that's the reason that fucking cold environments hurt you in this game is because metroids are vulnerable to cold and you're part metroid unless they're those special ones from other m apparently uh, they were also they were also in metroid prime i believe because metroid prime was a. Uh, there was one that was basically, like, more resistant to each of your beam types. It was either it was more resistant to one of your beam types, or it could only be damaged by one of your beam types at a time. I forget which one it was. But there was a fucking gimmick to it that made it so you couldn't just spam Ice Beam at him and fucking go to town with missiles. Hmm. Also, Wheels of Steel. This friggin' tirade I'm about to go on isn't against you or anyone else, but I really hate it when, like, after talking a little bit about a chosen topic, someone, like, opens up their next line with a- Or what if they just don't? What if none of it even matters? Because it kind of feels like I just wasted all my time talking about it. It's like, oh, they could just end the series, and, you know, none of what you just talked about even matters, and, you know, just go think about something else, even though you invest a lot of thought into this and ideas. Yeah. I don't I mean, think I that get they're it. going to fucking end the Metroid series just because, first off, first off, it's going to be getting some major attention after the fucking fourth Prime game comes out, and especially if it holds, if it stacks up well to the other three Prime games, which I hope to God it does, because the other fuck, because the first three Prime games were fucking amazing. Easily <laughs> some of the best fucking, they were easily some of the best fucking games of their era. Like, not even Metroid games, just games, period. Oh yeah, they were, they were just so fucking good. Like they had, so, I think the real key to a Metroid Prime game that they fucking managed to nail so well was environmental storytelling. Like, because you go there and obviously there are cutscenes in the game. You know, you'll fucking find you'll find people talking or fucking shit like that. Mainly in the third one, not so much the first and the second one. But there are cutscenes, you know, you'll fucking come across a new environment or you'll see some stuff, like it'll focus the camera onto some stuff that you're supposed to pay attention to later or some shit like that. But like, when you go into an area there, you can go and look around and you can see like a dude that's just laying up against a computer console or some shit like that. And so you go up to him and you scan him and it's like, oh yeah, this guy was fucking, you know, he, he appears to have plasma burns from a space pirate weapon. It appears he went down fighting and shit like that. And it's just, it's not important to the story at all. You can fucking ignore it entirely, but if you really like an area and you want to fucking piece together the type of shit that happened before you got there, you can do that. And it has such good fucking music, too. It sets the atmosphere so well. Like, oh. Environment, like, like, environmental storytelling is the best. It, it wow. is. Not agree. Yeah. That's why games like Dark Souls were so good, because Dark Souls told you fuck all. It's like you need to kill. It's like you need to kill these people. Why? I don't know. You figure it out, and then you do. 
feels really rewarding. Didn't they do the same for Bloodborne? Kinda, if I remember. Fucking they. It's like you gather over time that there are people who turn into werewolves, or as they call them, beasts, and then there's this whole friggin' El Thulu style thing going on. One of the endings, you become one of those things. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's all about hunters in a night. Oh shit, Dead Space and Uncharted did the same. That's what I love about this. Oh yeah, Last of Us too. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. The only difference is Bloodborne is still seen as a success, while uh, things like Dead Space. What are you doing? I'm just watching a bunch of funny Why videos. Baby, what? Whatever EG was talking about. Uh, I was talking about. Uh, I was watching a. I'm just watching a video about uh, of a bunch of bunnies. Oh, okay. Ah, great. Well, I was walking was after I got home from um. Like, after I finished watching the 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 Fourth of July parade, I was just, uh, walking back Ugh, home. Gross. And just, just stopped by at the neighborhood. Saw I saw a bunny in his cage outside. And every time I walk around the, a different corner, he follows me. And he's also a big lopper. He's a big one. <laughs> he's so cute. Me. He was a friendly one. <laughs> he's just following me. Are you serious? <laughs> he's just, he just sniffing on the... Just sniffing on the, on the camera. Just hitting. Okay, so we've established that you like bunny. Yes, I love boom boons. Yes, wheels of steel, I get that, but the whole point of the conversation was a hypothetical what if, because I think it's obvious there's never going to be anything in the, like, main original Metroid series after Fusion. I'm talking about a what if, and when talking about a what if, but only to be immediately followed up by a oh, but what if it just didn't? It's like, well, what was the point in even bringing it up? That's like saying, what if there was a peaceful alternative to nukes? And then it's like, eh, but what if there wasn't? Because, you know, there already isn't. Hey. What if there was a peaceful alternative to nukes? Well, last I checked, that was a little something called diplomacy, but, uh... <laughs> it's a, it's the animal friends in But that's screen. what I mean, it's... But that's what I mean, is that whole sense of, like, you know, we brought up this topic as a what-if, a neat little idea. Something to say, oh, that'd be pretty neat, but then people are just like, eh, but no, though. What if we... You know? You can understand why that'd be a bit irritating. And season is sitting on logic. <laughs> He's got the peaches. This is fine. I like how these animals have just fucking hijacked your ship pretty much. You're like, yeah, sure, why not? They're the only fucking living things on this station. Go ahead. Oh, God. I, I am going to say, though, uh, one thing about these animal friends is uh, they do remember you. They, re they they remember you from Super Metroid. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You, you'll see what happens, but they remember you. Well, I know what it is. And it's oh, yeah. yeah. I know what it is. It's, it's so good, though. It's yeah, so good. It's, it's a so beautiful happy. connection. Oh, my God. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit's getting its animated series on, you know, on Disney+. Plus. Yay. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, nice. Geez. It's about time they did. Oh, I miss Oswald. Holy shit, there are plants growing on the ground. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Ew, nature. <laughs> Ugh, oh, the outside season. world. <laughs> season, season goes to go. Hashtag lingo kingo. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Shit. 
I should have I should have write down in the comments on your Lion King review. Uh, uh, the antelope eats us. <laughs> also, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that like after the two instances, golden in the animals, no one has brought up that theory about the X parasite. It's been it's been stated that. Ow, fucker! Yeah, fuck off. Anyways. It's been stated that what? That they're not uh, X infected. Oh. oh. I mean, yeah, no, like they they literally the fucking Adam literally said fucking that they're healthy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Fair enough. I, I, I had a thought and I lost it for a second. Oh, actually, fucking the the Metroid 2 remake that came out on 3DS. Mm-hmm. Oh, that game was so good. Oh, I'm sure it is. It was, ooh, I, I, I played it and I fucking absolutely loved it. It was, it was so fun. Like, yeah, it's what you would expect from a Metroid game, but there's also just a twist to it a little bit. They've added basically like a counter system. So like an enemy that's about to attack you, you press a button real quick and if you time it right, you can counter them and you can fucking shoot you you get basically a bunch of fucking free shots on them. You can just get massive damage. It's great. And it was just it was such a good fucking remake and uh fun fact because it's a uh, Metroid 2. Mm -hmm. So this should still be common knowledge. Uh the where where the fucking remake takes place is uh the same planet the fucking X parasite showed up from. Well, yeah, an SR388. Yeah.